Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you'll need to follow along with me today is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? This week, I thought we would begin to tackle facial expressions, one of the cornerstones of cartooning. If cartoons are exaggerated drawings, well, then the expressions on the faces of those exaggerated drawings have to be exaggerated too. And that's why we love them. In almost every case, a character's expression is dictated by how you draw the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. Keep that in mind as we go through this exercise. I'm going to start by using Calvin from the celebrated comic strip Calvin and Hobbs. Bill Watterson was a master when it came to his character's expressions, especially Calvin. Before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw some facial expressions using Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> All right, so here's how we're going to break this down. We're going to stick with the big three expressions, happy, sad, and mad. Within those three expressions, there are many, many variations representing different intensities of those emotions. For instance, in terms of happy, there's happy because it's a nice day, there's happy because something great or funny has just happened, and then there's the evil happy because you're planning on taking over the world. We'll attempt all three, okay? So let's draw Calvin in three variations of happy. So there's our happy Calvin. Now let's do the same thing with sad. In the case of sad, we'll slowly ramp up the intensity. First with Calvin appearing mildly sad, then Calvin becoming increasingly emotional due to his sadness, and finally Calvin so sad that he is in fact sobbing. So let's make Calvin sad.
Okay, so there's our sad Calvin. So now having covered happy and sad, it's time to make Calvin mad. That's not hard to do. Much like with sad Calvin, we'll incrementally ramp up his anger, starting with Calvin with a bit of a chip on his shoulder, or I guess we can call it grumpy Calvin. From there, we'll draw Calvin starting to get a little hot under his collar, clearly ticked off by something. And finally, we'll draw enraged Calvin. So let's draw mad Calvin. Alrighty, so there we have it. Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes in various degrees of happy, sad, and mad. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Calvin or worked on expressions before, then you cannot expect to have drawn them perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring Calvin during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Calvin in various expressions. With that, you can draw him again and again, and by all means, color them when you're done. I also encourage you to take what you've learned in this video and give other characters some of these same expressions. That's how you improve. I promise each time you draw them, it will be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your drawing of Calvin and these various expressions. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.